because I went to a hostel and got really good sleep, I uh, then went online to look for down alternative pillows because I believe that hostels normally use down pillows. And of course, being a vegan, I'm not gonna get one of those. So I looked for the best alternative, uh, best rated alternative on the internet for uh, down replacement alternative pillows. And I purchased uh, the Brooklinen uh, down alternative pillow that they have. Here's what I found. It's the Brooklinen down alternative pillow. And uh, this is the, uh, this is just a Target $10 pillow, uh, which is like overstuffed and has uh, these seams around it, which, you know, made me think that, made me buy it and, and made it more comfortable. This is what I've been sleeping on for a while. Uh, it does work, uh, does the job for 10 bucks or so. This um this so uh i had explained that i went to a hostel and i had searched for down alternative pillows a more logical approach might have been to look for pillows that online that uh support uh side sleepers um the, the stuffing on this is really uh just polyfill um for the Brooklyn and um, it's, it's called uh, PET uh, fiber and so when you look for PET fiber on the internet there's many pictures that come up and one of them is sort of like a feather like product uh, that's not what this is this is uh, more of like a just I would say polyfill just an acrylic like cottony, fibery, you know the one, you know the one. It's in all the stuffed animals and all the. So uh, I am intending to return this. Luckily, Brooklinen has a good return policy of one year. So one year from the date of purchase, you can return something and say you don't like it. So that about them is good. Uh, they also sent uh, a tote bag. I'm not an old lady, so I don't need a tote bag. Uh, but that, that's what this is. Uh, the label's on the other side, but if you look at the label, it says that it's 100% polyester. So I suppose that's what PET fiber really is. Now this here, uh, is almost, has become, because, because of the migration of materials in a pillow like this, uh, you know, uh, this has become maybe puffier than that so i'll sleep on the puffier one and i intend to return this as i said and get something such as the uh, uh pillow cube or generic alternative for that uh but this uh which is a 50 or 60 dollar pillow uh has turned out to be a disappointment i need something with cooling properties uh such as uh one of the versions of the pillow cube which really is made for side sleepers and is thicker than this without being like uh, bad for the neck. I'll show you another pillow. Uh, this is uh, this is the uh, Planet pillow, and this was one of my earliest attempts to fix my sleeping problem, and it really is a down alternative pillow, um, but uh, this one is a little too thick, so. I don't know. You have to get some compromises, I guess. This I purchased this from Costco, and I purchased two of them in a big pack. And so I can't complain, really, about that. I can't return it or anything. Uh, let's see. What's it? Oh, I, I've removed the label. So I can't see what's inside, but it is polyfill. I have opened one of them because... Uh, and this is most likely the material that's in the other pillow as well. I opened one of them to let some of this out because it was too stuffed. It was overstuffed. So I couldn't sleep on either one. I guess back sleepers would be fine with really any of these, you know, and belly sleepers. I don't know what belly sleepers or back sleepers sleep on, but for me, it's always been a side sleeper scenario. So 
yeah, that's uh, three different pillows that I've been uh, checking out when in fact I should have just gone online to search for solutions for side sleepers. And I may still do that because uh, there may be other things than, they, than that uh, 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 pillow cube to look into. I'll also review whatever I get and tell you how it works. Uh, but, you know, that's the thought on that so far. Uh, hopefully, you can uh, have a good night's rest yourself and uh, get some dreams.